Hi, I'm Trey. And I'm Monica. And this is another one of our adventures in California history. And today I'm at the end of Hurdle Drive in Auburn, Placer County. And we're gonna celebrate the 150th anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad with a visit to a place called Bloomer's Cut. It's a uh, engineering feat, if you will, of um, uh, manpower. It was all done by hand. And uh, we're gonna go check it out and see what it's all about. I've never been there, um, but I've seen pictures of it back from the 1800s, and it looks uh, pretty spectacular. Um, the Southern Pacific like to call it the eighth wonder of the world. We'll go see if that's true. Uh, when you come to the end of Hurdle Drive, there is a, a plaque right down here uh, that you can read about Bloomer's Cut, and uh, let's go check it out. Uh, the trail to get to uh, Bloomer's Cut goes between um, homes on either side. There's a city-owned strip of property that you can access uh, Bloomer's Cut with. That's where we're walking, but on the right and on the left are uh, homes and at one time, from what I understand, they were going to complete Hurdle Drive with a bridge crossing this Bloomer's Cut. Uh, but that was back in 2012, and I haven't heard anything uh, new about it since. So we'll go see what's going on. Now, I was concerned that we would be trespassing, but there's absolutely no signs. And from what I understand, it's a city-owned property. You can see the fence has been uh, removed there. So. Here we go, a well-worn path. So um, I'm approaching Bloomer's Gap and I gotta warn you, take your time because when you come up to the edge uh, in your excitement, you might walk a little too fast and whoops, there you go. Look how steep this is. I can't even see the tracks. There they are. That's looking west. Quite dramatic when you first come up to it. dug through solid rock and a type of concrete, if you will. Here we are at the bottom of the uh, path to Bloomer's Gap. <clears throat> Walk down and we're looking west and uh, Union Pacific Railroad tracks. I notice the uh, ties now are uh, made out of concrete and there it is, the gap. walk a little closer and see what we can see. I don't want to go into the gap because it's a very narrow passageway and this is a live line. There are trains that use this uh, track on a regular basis. You can get an idea of the conglomerate rocks and cement. Not cement that they <clears throat> put in but some just natural cement holding the rocks together. Here we see a wood-burning locomotive pulling a train through Bloomer's Gap in the 1800s. And the same view today. Not much has changed. All right, remember when I said it was a live line? Well, here it comes. Not quite a train, but a Union Pacific maintenance truck. Hello. Goodbye. Pretty cool vehicle. Uh-oh, why is he slowing down? Hmm, is he gonna come back and talk to me? Nope, there he goes. Maps of all of our adventures and the routes to get to them are available at our website. The maps are interactive, they move around, you find an item you're interested in, you click it, and up comes more info. Hey, I know those people. I wonder what this guy's got to say.